Um, I was looking for a way to continue dancing. I've been dancing since I was three, but I stopped dancing at my studio outside of school. So when I joined the high school, or when I came to the high school, I found Moving Company, and it was a great way to get dancing back into my life. We do everything here. Um, I've been involved in jazz, modern, contemporary, African, tap, and hip-hop. I love the people. It's a lot of fun here. We're pretty much like a family, and it's great to come into rehearsals after a long day of school and be able to just dance and have fun with my friends. So anyone, well, normally freshmen do not choreograph, but sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are involved in a moving company can choreograph a piece if they choose to. I don't know if I will next year. So it's not just a senior thing only, but it's a fun way to kind of do a different form of dance in which you have to be the instructor and you have to be the teacher. Um, it's a lot of fun. We have people of all different experiences, so if you kind of think you can dance but you're not really sure, still come join us next year. It's a lot of fun. Moving Company is free for all students with little or a lot of dance background to come and explore and create a range of dance and a new love for dance. Uh, when I was three to probably 12, like middle school area, I went to a dance studio called Originations and from sixth grade to my junior year in high school, I went to Tony Williams Dance Center and performed in their Urban Art Cracker as well. I grew up in Boston actually, but I'm in the MECO program, which allows me to attend school in Mosley. To my comparing it, it's a lot different at my dance studio, it's more technical training as well as variety in here is just exploring like new moves and exploring new moves and just trying something out of your comfort zone. Um, I joined this year because I want to get a new experience um, in dance and also I hope to choreograph a piece for footnotes in the future. Um, I was only here for a year and so I was looking for something that would let me join with no experience and I was like okay this dance company looks pretty cool so I joined and it is really cool. Mm, it's, it's kind of like a mix of different styles together. Um, it's really like open to interpretation of what it can be. It's like a mix of modern, it can be a mix of modern and jazz. Um, I think I like how um, it allows me to interact with upperclassmen and people that I would never meet um, otherwise. And I made like friends in moving company that I can talk to outside of the dance studio as well. Um, I like that it allows me to be in like a team-like environment without, again, having a lot of experience. But I agree with Olivia's point. <laughs> So I went to Rhode Island College and Rick actually has come here a few times for the footnotes concerts and so my professor, um, she recommended that perhaps I try something like this because I love choreographing. Um, so I actually never went to Wellesley High School. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm a guest choreographer here. Um, I graduated college um, and so this is my opportunity and their opportunity to work with an outside choreographer. Um, it's really been a pleasure to being able to explore that with them. I am currently in a professional dance company. I work for Fusion Works Dance Company, and I'm hoping to choreograph hopefully for them and then other modern dance companies in the area. Um, so my choreography today explores um, some of the early modern artists, which a lot of times it's abstract art. Um, and something I find really awesome about those pieces is that there's so many different moving parts, but somehow they all come together and they just excite you. They make you energized. They entertain you in a way. Um, and so that's what I did on stage. There was a janitor walking through the museum. They got incited by the artwork and they just wanted to jump in. Um, and I almost think that not having them all be dancers is a real gift because they're really willing to jump in and do whatever I ask of them. Um, and that's really, that's really great because sometimes even with like older college students, they're a little bit more restrictive. They're, they think they're being judged. But these kids have been absolutely uh, thrilled to teach just because they're willing to jump in and do whatever I need.
So these are our technical rehearsals, so depending on who is rehearsing what piece, uh, my role will vary. Like right now we're about to rehearse my piece, so I'll be on stage and dancing for a good solid hour and a half. Um, but I'm also responsible for all the production aspect of it, so coordinating with our technical director, getting um, publicity together. Um, we do have one parent volunteer who's been super helpful with getting everything organized, so coordinating things with her. Um, so there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that people don't see that go into a production um, that it makes everything happen and it almost looks like magic. So my main role here at the high school is I'm a full-time guidance counselor and I've been running their dance program. This is my 20th season, um, so our 20th Footnotes concert, which is kind of exciting. And we're lucky that even though my program is after school, we actually have a program because a lot of schools don't have dance as part of their performing arts department. Um, hopefully over time it will grow and it'll become um, more mainstream, but um, we ourselves, Brookline High School, some of the Boston public schools and a lot of the private schools in the area do have dance, but we're pretty unique in that way. So, so we have six guest artists coming. Um, two are returning from other schools, which is Dana Hall and Cambridge School of Weston. Um, we have our junior moving company from the middle school and our Sprague School Mini Movers, who this is their second season performing. Then we have Rhode Island College, um, which has been performing with us for the last several years. And a new group coming is called Always Be Dancing, um, and it is Flamenco Group. So we bring that diversity to our concert. So it's a really diverse concert. It has a lot of different dance styles. Um, the age ranges span from first grade all the way up to adult, uh, which is also really cool. And so it's a really unique, interesting show. I think the audience will really enjoy the different dance pieces um, and the different styles and just getting to see just different work that's being happening around the Boston and local area. Um, that's kind of the purpose of the concert is to get people out and seeing different styles of dance. This is one night only. We are one shot. So April 12th, 7 p.m. Uh, tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for children. Senior citizens are free. Uh, we encourage you to, to come out and, and see our show.